Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. We've got uh, we got a little bit of finishes to do today in the music garage because we're gonna be working on railing. Yes, I know. You guys have been giving me a hard time since uh, we kind of had this mezzanine done and people have been like, man, put a, put a safety railing, stop walking along the edges of that. And you know, obviously safety is always important, but um, now is the time that we're gonna put a railing up here. We've got a black aluminum railing and the black is to obviously tie into the ceiling. We've got black outlets and switches um, and then the black railing, black windows, black doors. I think it's gonna look pretty cool and it's gonna really start to define the space up here. And when you're downstairs, kind of give, give the upper area some definition, I think. I remember one of our previous projects uh, had a mezzanine it's the hunting cabin if you guys haven't seen that go check that out killer building but regardless when we finally put the railings on that upstairs it made all the difference in the world so i'm pretty excited uh, hopefully you guys are too so let's go ahead and get into this now probably the most unfortunate thing here guys is that we don't have any lights up here these fixtures are not yet hooked up uh, we do have these air conditioners which do definitely help. And I, I told the client that now that we've got all these wood finishes going in, it's really a good idea to keep this space climate controlled. And selfishly, it's a lot nicer to work in this space with the climate control. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be running railing off of this trim board. So this is all gonna be carpet up here. And I've been kind of struggling with in my head how I was gonna do this. Um, we left this trim up about a quarter inch. That was kind of the decision that the client and I made and that was so that the carpet can terminate into the trim. I didn't want, or we didn't want the carpet going over the edge. But anyway, let's go ahead, we'll get everything laid out, figure out where our rails are gonna, or our posts are gonna go, which Greg, are, Greg is bringing up the post right now and uh, we'll start laying this thing out. Wow, Greg, six at a time. Oh, I was trying to throw you a bone there, man. Greg, uh, Greg turns 28 here in, in like a week or two. It's getting old. Five days? I don't know. What's the date today? Dude, my daughter's birthday's tomorrow. Yeah. So then, yeah, mine's five days then. Yeah. She's the 25th, right? 25th. Yeah. So send Greg, uh, Greg, what's your Venmo? <laughs> <laughs> you guys could have sent Greg a nice little Venmo birthday gift, but he don't remember. Send it to me and I'll get it to him, don't worry. <laughs> we'll just use the laser to set our base plate, right? Yeah. Why would we snap, would a, line snap a line when we've got this laser? We'll go five and a quarter. Yeah, okay. Five and a quarter. Actually, you know what would be easier? It's gonna get painted anyway, I'll see it better. Five and a quarter. Let's do five and a quarter off of this guy. We're gonna go next to the line, not on the line. So my laser is on the outside of my mark. Five and a quarter. I wonder if you like, maybe like, did you butt it in there? Yeah, that's what you did. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. Maybe, will that help you? I think it will, dude, yeah. Yeah. So I want my laser to touch five quarter, not be on it. Okay. Okay, 20 foot, one and a half. If I divide that by three, that's not what I want to do. I need to add the thickness of this post. These are three inch. So I need to add a total of three inches to that, which is 24 and a half divided by three, six, nine and a half is the centers from center. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that center. So now hold me on the center of that or right on that mark. Now, hold me in the center of that mark, and I should be the center of this, if we did it right. Yeah. Let's go ahead and work our way down. We got pre-drill, we got screw gun, and as dark as can be. Yeah, no kidding. All right, since we have this sick laser, here I'm at, um, oh wait on the one inch line, so that needs to lean out. See that? Mm. 
So that's about a sixteenth. I wonder if. Oh wait. Did you do it? Almost. Boom. Okay. That's solid, dude. Easy peasy, man. Lemon squeezy. These should get easier now because we won't be against the wall. I wish I had knee pads. Wish I had my trailer. I could go get them. That's about what we want to be, right? Mm-hmm. I mean... I mean, if it has to be... Yeah, if it has to be perfect. I, I, I could tighten these a little, although. Well, this is kind of easy, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> With you by my side, dude? So easy. Unstoppable. I mean, without the mark. Wait, you know. what the heck? Oh, I'm pushing it. Oh, I'm like, dude, I can't move the base on this one. Something's wrong. <laughs> Greg's got all his weight on it. Yeah. 160 pounds of me. So, now that we have this space, we did the math. Yep, you're burning an inch and a half. Say like seven foot one, seven sixteenths. Here. Come hold me here because it'll be easier than lining up there. Just hold me at 7 1 and 7 16. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, let's work on your math skills, Greg. Okay, 14 2 7 8. 21 3 and 13 16. 21 4. Yeah, <laughs> 5 16. What's the next one? Twenty-eight five three quarters. Good try, man. And then we'll just check it. We should be twenty-one seven or seven one seven sixteen from this mark to the center. Something like that. Good. Heck yeah, dude. That's solid. It really is. It's gonna be a heck of a rail. These really are some easy post bases or posts to set. And since we knew we were gonna be using these, I'm glad we installed a bunch of blocking underneath along this whole edge. So I feel I can feel the rigidity in these columns as soon as I lag them in. They feel really good. I'm about a sixteenth off here. You got a shim, dude? Yes. Might need to shove a shim under here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't foresee them going anywhere anytime soon, which is a good thing. Cool. So you can see we've got a little template block where these little brackets go. And Greg's just holding that in place. And then we've got two self-tapping screws that go right into the aluminum post. And this is what our rails are gonna set on. Now, if, if I didn't know that all of this was done with a laser and we can tell how perfect the tops of all these columns are, we would probably have a laser out shooting all of these locations, but because they are so good, when you look across the top, we know that the bases are good and we can go ahead and put our uh, template block right on there and know that we're good. Greg, the camera's like right here, so make sure that you're flexing. Yeah, make sure you're flexing. Make sure the heads up. Yeah.
All right, so down here uh, in the garage, we're cutting these rails up to the correct size. And what we've already done is figured out where center was. And from there, we're pulling out. So we'll actually be cutting off the two outsides. And that is so we've got an equal distance um, in the gap between the rail and the post. So all I'm doing is marking inch and three quarters. And we're using a Diablo blade here to cut through this aluminum. This is so easy. Check it out. It's like no effort. I love it. I've always used the band saw for this. And this time Greg and I were like, you know what? Let's just use a chop saw. Well, Kyle was like, let's use a chop saw. That's it okay. And we wanted to use this steel demon blade, but I'd already used it on a, um, a rear handle saw and took the knockout out and it wouldn't work. So believe it or not, we're using a wood metal combination blade. It's for like demolition. It's working really well. Really nice clean cut. I mean, it is just aluminum. One thing when you're cutting metal like this, you definitely wanna have hearing protection. And because I'm cutting here, eye protection. Normally I don't always wear it, but I definitely am gonna be wearing it for uh, cutting metal. 78 and a half, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Although believe it or not, Greg, I haven't been hit in the face with uh, shavings. Okay, I'm on. Okay, once you get there, then pull your top out. Let's go. Bottoms up, bottoms up, bottoms up, bottoms up, bottoms up, bottoms up. Dude, this goes so quick. Let's get this end plumb, and then we'll kind of work through the middle. I'd rather have the outside edges perfect and we can make up any little tiny, there shouldn't be, but you know what I'm saying. Right. I really like the way this looks. Pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So Bobby, can you get screwed then? Yep, bottoms can get screwed and I'll start getting measurements for our tops. Now, just in case anybody was curious, these are Williams. So Williams aluminum railing. And I got these at Menards. I don't remember the exact cost, but uh, very affordable. And I think they look awesome when they're done. Plus installation time is pretty darn easy, even if you've never done them. Come on, baby. Almost. Yep. Ah, it? Yeah. Whew. That make it work, dude. Bloodbuster. Yep. 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 There. <laughs> you know, I can only guarantee that this looks good when it's dark. Yeah. I, I can't guarantee that this looks good in the light.
Well, what do you think guys? That definitely defined the space upstairs. And you know, now nobody's gonna fall over the edge. We got this nice black powder coated aluminum rail. It's mounted straight into our framing down below, which we, if you remember going back to the eye joist frame, we did a nice double plate eye joist to give us a lot of um, you know, area for securement, like a nice blocking and inch and an eighth legacy, man. We use four of those 5 16 GRKs on each base. These things, they're not going anywhere and it really adds to the look, man. It seems like everything that we do at this point is getting closer to finishes, which is an awesome feeling. We've been working on this thing for, it feels like forever, even though it's been about 12, uh, not quite 12 months um, back and forth. And that's a long time for us. We don't ever work on projects that long. And just the nature of this and with the 2020 year, it just did drag on a little bit. Uh, but you can't rush a good thing. It's really coming together. And I hope you guys stick through to see this thing get finished up. And maybe very soon when we're working in here, maybe these lights will work and it won't be so dark. So make sure you guys stay tuned, hit that follow along, subscribe button, whatever. Uh, maybe hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and stick around for more because we got more coming and we'll catch you guys in the next video.